Greetings everyone, Joseph James here from SchoolTrade.com with your chart of the day. Now guys, I hope you had a good time with the trade this morning. Now in these videos, the chart of the day here, we saw something this morning that I really wanted to go over guys here. Very important we end using the wave indicator. And guys, if you're unfamiliar with how the wave indicator works, make sure you guys come out and join us in our live trade room. You can get a free three-week trial on our homepage. When we use the wave indicator, ultimately what we're doing is we're buying pullbacks, we're selling retracements, right? Now, if you ask any professional trader, this is the most efficient way of trading. Buying pullbacks gets you in with good support. It gets you in when price is moving the best, and it's going to get you in on a falling price, which means you can get the best fill, the best, of course, the best position to profit from it. Because if you're buying low, you'll be able to sell high. Okay, flip it around. Of course, when we sell retracements, okay, we're going to be shorting something that's rising, which means we're going to get the best feel, and we're also, go of course, going to be in a better profit potential because when it reverses and goes back to the downside, now we're in a potential to make some money. So, with the wave indicator, in this example here, guys, we're buying a pullback. Now, I wanted to show you how the volume plays into this, because reading volume, reading the speed of the market, is going to be a big, a big factor, guys, in whether or not your pullback is a reversal or not. Right? How do we know when a pullback is going to be a reversal? How do we know when a retracement is not just retracing off its lows? How do we know the buyers aren't in control and it's not going to be a full-blown reversal? Well, the answer lies in the speed of the tape, in volume, and in price action, and understanding how the markets actually move. Now, this is something I learned a long time ago, but I still realize there are new clients out there that haven't learned this yet. So this would be a great opportunity for you guys to learn some more about this. Now, guys, the wave indicator is pretty simple. When the wave indicator fires off, Right, first step obviously is the indicator itself will fire off. Right, it'll give you a it'll give you a long signal. Okay, so we get we get the indicator down bottom here, guys, that fires off, and we get a long signal. Right, telling me it's now time to look for a long trade. So the indicator fires off, and we're going to see three phases of the move. Right, three phases of the move. Now the first phase is here where we see the increase in volume. Right, the phase number one is when we have right that big explosion so the indicator fires off price then begins to jump to the upside right and we're going to see strong speed and strong volume now notice guys i've attached a copy of the pace of a tape indicator from the crude market this morning now this is the exact speed of the tape that we saw this morning on the crude and you can see it's it's very easy to see how these three stages develop now the first stage right signal fires off this is where we see all of this fast speed right so that guys all this fast speed down bottom here so the first stage price increases the speed of the tape increases because the buyers are in control now in the second phase right second phase here is going to be once it reaches its high it will then begin to pull back now this is where we begin to right perk up because now we're getting ready to take our trade we're going to enter when it tests the trigger line there Okay, so once we test that trigger line right here, that's where I'm going to enter. Okay, so in phase two here, we're going to see decreased volume, but the buyers will still be in control. Okay, so as we pull back off these new highs, price should slow down a little bit. And you can see, follow me down here, paste the tape. Look at all the red paste of the tape here. Right, there it is, right there. So the pullback equals slower price, which means the buyers still have control. And guys, you can see just how just how different it looks. Okay, in phase one, we have all kinds of speed. In phase two, as we pull back off those highs, things begin to slow down. Now, why would why would things begin to slow down? Right? They would begin to slow down because the buyers are in control. Okay, so think of it this way. As price explodes to the upside, the buyers are in control. As price pulls back from those new highs, right, phase two, and tries to test this trigger line, the buyers are still going to be in control, right? The sellers aren't in control. If the sellers were in control, the speed would be rising. Make sense, guys? If the sellers took over control during this pullback, the speed down here on my pace of the tape would be falling. I'm sorry, it would be rising, right? It would be green, but it's red here, and that's exactly correct. So as the price pulls back, the buyers are still in control, right? The sellers may think they're in control, but the buyers are soon going to, of course, prove their control because once it tests that trigger line, then goes into phase three. 
And phase three is where we see the explosion of volume at the test of the trigger. So phase three, we now jump back to the upside, returning to its original trend. Now, of course, confirming this is not, this is not a reversal. This is just a pullback. Okay, price tests the rising trigger line. Buyers come back in with a vengeance. More speed, more volume, big buyers in the tape, and they push price back up. You'll see if you follow over here, guys, to the pace of the tape indicator, we notice we get that big spike, right? That big spike there in the speed. All right, so one more time. Let's, let's do it one more time here. Right, three phases. The first phase is, is phase one, where we see the big break to the upside, right? The indicator fires off. We see increasing volume. Big explosion to the upside. Now, we're not trading that. We're just watching that, right? That's the move. That's, that's the actual move itself. Now, we're going to trade the reaction to the move, which means now in the second phase, okay, which is the pullback, okay, now price begins to pull back, and we're looking, of course, to buy at the test of this trigger line. Okay, now, price should slow down here, and you can see it slowing down on my pace of the tape indicator. right? This is the exact, this is the exact situation we saw today. You can see this red pace of a tape here, right? Slows down. It slows down, of course, because the buyers are still in control, but they're just taking a breather, right? They're just regrouping. Then now, back in phase three, we now have the explosion back up to the upside. Remember, the buyers are still in control, and we know, of course, the buyers are in control because once we test that trigger, right? Once, once I test that trigger line here, I know right away... Right? I know right away if it's going to be just that pullback. Because when I see the buyers re-enter the tape, when I see the speed of the tape pick up, when I see momentum pointing up, big buyers on the filter time and sales window, that's when I know this is going to bounce and I'm getting long based upon the momentum indicator confirming, speed confirming, big money to tape confirming. And we can see that, of course, over here on my pace of a tape indicator, reference, of course, in yellow and green. All right, guys, so as you can see, it's not rocket science, and it's pretty obvious, right? I think, I think if you understand what's really going on behind the scenes, you're going to be able to understand why this stuff happens, okay? Buyers are in control. The buyers push price up. The buyers then take a breather. Price comes back down, retraces, and the buyers then jump back on and push it back up. Now, again, remember, if we see in phase number two, right, in phase number two, Okay, if we see the speed rising in phase number two, right, if this red pace of a tape down bottom here, if this was green, if the speed was rising as price was falling, I need to be very careful about that. That means the sellers indeed have taken over control. So we don't want to see rising speed on the pullback or the retracement. All right, guys, keep an eye on that stuff. And again, watch your pace of a tape indicator. The pace of a tape indicator told the story today. It told a great story. All right, so what did we learn today? We learned there's a very small difference between a pullback or retracement and a full-blown reversal. We can tell the difference. It's not, it's not easy. It is easy, though, if you know what to look for. Okay, watch the speed. Watch the volume as that pullback or retracement develops. And guys, remember, if you see price increasing in speed as that pullback or retracement develops, be careful. Expect you're going to see a reversal. All right, guys. Hope it helps out there. Obviously, the chart of the day video, guys, we try to, we try to keep up with things we see in the live trade room. Let's recap for tomorrow. Trade room opens up tomorrow morning, 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time. Want to be there for that? We do webinars on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Don't miss out on those free webinars. If you want more information about our setups, our entry rules, our routine, the markets we trade, grab a copy of the beginner's course. And as always, if you want more information about lifetime membership, just drop us an email, sales at schooloftrade.com. My name is Joseph James. Thanks so much for your time today, guys. We'll see you in the morning.